ATL, GA Faithful, my people. I'm D. Douglas Carter back on the scene doing my thing, and I just want to say I appreciate you and the work that you do. Breaking news updates, got a lot going on. Um, if y'all ain't heard by now, Marcus Mariota has been released, cut, whatever. We get that 12 million added onto our cap. So, um, you know, our cap situation is looking better and better. Um, Terry Fontenot spoke today uh, down there at the Combine. Uh, didn't reveal too much of anything, just the same thing, you know, the process, going through everything, um, the meetings with all the players. And he did say that was like the most important part for him was the meeting with the players in this uh, speed dating type format. But the one thing he harps on, he always goes back to is the character the makeup of these players. I mean, I don't know how many times he said it. So that's the one thing as fans that we're really not privy to is the character of these players. Like, it, does this player have an attitude where he thinks he's the best um, and that he's untouchable? Does he um, come off cocky? Does he come off conceited? Does he come off humble? Does he here to be a hard worker or um, is his talents just natural and he, he hasn't really had to put in much effort into his skill and all those who've been around know these kind of people like um, you got people who are, are gifted, talent, um, talented, just like by God's gifts, you know, they're faster than you, they're stronger than you or, or something like that and, and they don't really practice as hard as you. Um, like my whole athletic upbringing, I was never the biggest, strongest or fastest, but I outworked everybody and I had that heart and I had that want to. So that's really what our front office is looking for. Do you have that want to? Are you going to come to work in every day and bust it like a Grady Jarrett? You know what I'm saying? He was doubted on his size and everything like that. But what does he got? He has that heart. He has that work ethic, and he comes in, and he works at it every day. Um, a lot of those players I grew up playing with that were, you know, faster and stuff like that, but didn't really care, didn't really, pra didn't really practice, they're nobodies now. They, they just – and you got some players, you know, coming out of high school, coming out of college that, you know, they just rely on their talent. They don't put any work into it. So those are the players I think you're trying to weed out. Then you got players that have all those uh, God-given gifts and put in the work, and that's what you that's what you're looking for. Like, um, you know, talent will only take you so far. You gotta you gotta have a business mind about you when you go about things as well, um, and that's the 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 most pressing thing that our front office has touched on is the character. You know, is this person gonna have problems off the field are they unstable are, are they um maybe too humble maybe too passive because you got to have some dog in you and it's a fine line you know what i'm saying you got to have some dog in you but you don't want your dog to go out and get in trouble off the field because he doesn't know how to control or contain his um power or his um attitude or his aggression you know controlled aggression think that's like a buzzword or something or if it ain't I just made it one controlled aggression is what you got to have in this game and in this life um discernment you know you got to pick and choose everything's a choice you know is the time right to do this or is the time not right you know what I'm saying what can you go after what can you fall back on what can you wait on what what you can't wait on you know what I'm saying it needs to be handled now all these things man all these choices in this life um, but that's the Falcons update. Um, you know, like I said at the beginning, Marcus Mariota was cut. They're switching and, and flopping coaches around in, in within the organization. Um, they did, Arthur Smith did mention that um, Dave Ragone will assume quarterback coach responsibilities. So, um, I know a lot of us Falcon fans aren't really fans of Dave Ragone, but that's 
who's going to be doing the quarterback coaching and OCing, kind of clipboard holding, as Smitty Smith's sports machine would say. Um, and a lot of other people, you know, kind of have that opinion. I share that opinion. I don't really know what Dave Ragone is doing. But uh, that's pretty much the update on the Falcons right now. Atlanta Hawks, Quinn Snyder will be coaching his first game tonight. Um, I believe it's against the Wizards. And we'll see how that looks like. You know, the Hawks came out first game and blew doors. Um, and then against the Nets, they almost tricked that game off. But Trey found a way to hit a buzzer beater. It really shouldn't have came down to that. But sometimes, you know, teams get hot. The Nets, they were just hitting threes um, late in the game. You know, they were just going in. So that's what it came down to. Uh, from all accounts I've heard, you know, uh, Quinn Snyder is a good coach, a smart guy, philosophy major or something like that, has some degrees in that. So hopefully he can use that and, and get this team to gel and, and know how to talk to the players and treat the players. Um, and we can go on this run with the Atlanta Hawks, try to get up to that sixth seed um, and make some noise in the playoffs. Let's see. I'll be, I'll be looking out for that tonight. And then, uh, you know, the Braves, they won the other day 7 to nothing. But, I mean, these games don't really mean nothing. They're just trying to get all these new rules together with the pitch count and, and all this craziness. Um, but, you know, the Braves are always going to be contenders. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I got right now. Uh, end this video like I end all my videos. Thank God works, and I hope you have a blessed rest of your day or night. One.